हेलो एवरीवन माय नेम इज शाह मानवत एंड आई वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू वंस अगेन टू द न्यू सीरीज ऑफ द लेक्चर्स दैट इज ऑन प्रोग्रेशन इट्स अ न्यू चैप्टर एंड दिस इज लेक्चर नंबर वन इन दिस इंटायर लेक्चर सीरीज वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अर्थमेटिक प्रोग्रेशन जोमेट्रिक प्रोग्रेशन एंड हार्मोनिक प्रोग्रेशन दिस इज कॉन्सेप्ट बिल्ड वीडियो सो लेट्स कम टू द ब्लैक बोर्ड एंड अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज अर्थमेटिक प्रोग्रेशन अर्थमेटिक प्रोग्रेशन इज progression where you will find a common difference first of all you need to understand what is progression progression means which progress with a common rule okay uh, it may have a common difference a common ratio or something common you know even if you see 1 3 6 7 8 9 10 even this is a progression okay progression could be growing with a positive mean i mean it it can go it can be ascending or it can be descending also so here if you see there is no this is not a common difference right i mean the difference is 2 here is 3 then we got difference 4 and then we got difference 5 so progression could be anything which has something common something common to go to the next term okay so i hope you understood the meaning of progression progression means the, the the term should have something common to 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 understand or to find the next term yeah it could be common difference common ratio or something common yeah we are going to discuss in this lecture arithmetic progression so arithmetic progression has a specific property that it progresses with a common difference as in you have uh, let's say 2 5 8 11 and so on do you see the difference here do you see the difference here if i say 5 minus 2 that is giving that will get, get you 3 that is nothing but second term minus first term if you see third term which is 8 minus the second term which is 5 this will also get you what 3 difference if you have the fourth term which is 11 and the third term which is Eight. The difference is what again three. This is the uh, identity of arithmetic progression. That the common difference, the difference between any two consecutive term. Consecutive means one after the other. Any two consecutive term is same. Yeah. And this difference is called common difference, which is usually uh, represented by a small d. Okay. So. i hope you understood the how to identify a progression is arithmetic progression or not common difference and as i said earlier also the progression could be ascending or descending also as in you can you may get the progression like 11 8 5 2 -1 so on now here you will find the common this is descending it's, it's going in a decreasing decreasing order right in this case the common difference is not 3 it will be minus 3 second term minus first term yeah a2 i i use a2 to represent second term a1 to represent the first term 1 2 first second and a some some symbol i want to use some symbol to say something you can use t t2 t1 also t2 minus t1 also term 2 and term 1 also one of the same thing yeah it's all all same thing but use something common yeah use something which is uh, common in your learning as in if you are watching my videos i will be using most of the time a yeah okay so a2 minus a1 that is 8 minus 11 will be minus 3 if you see a3 minus a2 the consecutive uh, difference between two consecutive term that will be 5 minus 8 that is again minus 3 right so the common difference is what a2 minus a1 or a3 minus a1 so the next term minus previous term that is the common difference okay i hope you understood how to identify a progression whether it is arithmetic progression or not or not so what is the other progression keep watching we have coming uh, coming up lectures where we are going to discuss harmonic progression uh, geometric progression and special series also yes 
Okay, now what are the formulas we have for arithmetic progression? Before we jump to the question, we need to understand the formulas. We understood how to identify the progression is arithmetic or not. Now, formulas. So, note down the formulas. I hope you are using pen and paper when you are watching these lectures. If not, then build this habit. Yeah, there is nothing better than having your own handwritten notes. Say n is the number of term, a n represent nth term can be said to be first term plus n minus 1. n is number of term multiply by d. d is the common difference. What is a? a is the first term. a is the first term. What is d? d is the common difference. Common difference. What is n? n is for number of terms an is nth term yes note this all so you get the nth term formula to be an equal to a plus n minus 1d now you have a formula for sum of nth terms also sum of nth term. Sn represent what? Sum of nth term. That formula is, okay, before that let us highlight this formula here. Yeah. n by 2, 2a plus n minus 1d. If you know the last term of the series, you can also use, you can also use, both of them are going to get you same answer first term plus last term. So, L here L is what? L is what? L I am using L as what? Last term. Last term as in in the series whatever last term is given to you. Yes, we will see the application of these formulas in questions. Stay tuned. Do not skip any part of this video. If you feel that I am teaching slower, please increase the speed. Yes, please increase the speed. Note down this formula. Let us see question number 1. The first question is what is the 25th term? 25th term that means n equal to 25. For the term, uh, uh, term of the series this. Here the first term is what? Minus 23. And common difference? Tell me what is common difference? The second term minus first term here. Second term is minus 16 minus of the first term is minus 23 to so minus 16 plus 23 difference is how much difference is how much 7 plus 7 plus 7 yes it is it's in the ascending order yeah you need to find out the 25th term 25th a25 can be written as what a plus 20 n minus 1 into d where the first term here is minus 23 the common the number of term is 25 and common difference we got 7 simplify further minus 23 plus 24 into 7 yeah what do you get here what do you get here you will get minus 23 plus 24 into 7 will get you 145. Yes, that is the 25th term. Are you okay with this? Did you understand how to apply the formula? Yes. Let us see the next question. Yeah, find the number of terms in the series 32 la, 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 la. and the last term is what? Minus 19. Find the number of terms. So, you need to find n. This time you do not know what? You do not know number of terms. But you know the last term which is what? Minus 19. Yeah. So, I can say a n is equal to minus 19. n we need to find out. The first term is nothing but 32. And the common difference here I can say 29 minus 32. See. 
I know that this we are discussing arithmetic progression. So, this is arithmetic progression, right? Otherwise, I will check, I will check the difference 29 minus 32, the difference is minus 3, 26 minus 29, difference is minus 3. So, until, until and unless I check with multiple consecutive terms and find the common differences to be same, until and unless I do that, I will not use the formula of arithmetic progression. So, in exam, when you get random question, definitely first you need to identify the type of progression. Okay. Now, apply the formula a n equal to a plus n minus 1 d. Yes, a n the unit term that is minus 19. First term is 32 plus n. We need to find out the common difference is minus 3. Simplify this. 32 the other side that will become 19 minus 19 minus 32 we got n minus 1 multiply by minus 3 yeah so I'll rather take this minus 3 in denominator before that let's let's see the difference here minus 9 minus sign, both term has same sign so same sign get added so add both of them with and finally we use we put the negative sign because both of them has minus sign so that's 51 n minus 1 minus 3 let me take minus 3 down change the side of minus 3 take it to the left hand side minus 51 by minus 3 cancel this 3 and this is what 17 now what will be the value of n come on what is the value of n now n will be 17 plus 1. So, n is equal to what? 18. Number of terms. This is what we need to find out. Did you understand how to apply this formula? Where you need to find out the nth term? Yes? Okay. Let us look at the next question. The next question is in an AP, the fifth term is 11 and tenth term is 21 find the eighth term yeah what is given to us fifth term i write it as a5 fifth term is 11 and if i use the formula of any term i can write this 11 is nothing but a plus n minus 1 into d basically 11 is what a plus 4d similarly if you find the tenth term as per the question that is 21 that's nothing but a plus 10 minus 1 into d that is a plus 9d yeah now what do you have you got two equations and i'm sure you're coming uh, coming to this lecture after watching linear equations so you know how to solve this equation you got two variables two equations simplify this let's simplify if i do equation number 2 minus equation number 1 i get 21 minus 11 that's 10 and a a cancel 9d minus 4d that is 5d that's how i got i get the value of d as 2 that's not the answer that's the only common difference question said find the eighth term before that i need to find out the first term also because to find the eighth term which is a plus 7 minus sorry a plus 8 minus 1 into d i need to have the value of a as well right so to get the value of a i use this d equal to 2 and substitute in either one of the equation let's use equation number 1 which is what 11 equal to a plus 4d simplify this what you get a plus 2 fours are 8 yeah further take 8 to the left hand side you have 11 minus 8 that is 3 that's the first term right now let's substitute the first term as well as the common difference in the expression where we need to find it out find out the eighth term right that will be 3 plus 7 into 2 7 twos are 14 14 plus 3 I know it's difficult calculation, but yes, write out. I have I'm quite confident about my students. 
you will get the right answer. 14 plus 3 is how much? Yes, that's 17. Eighth term. Okay, so you used the formula of nth term in this question also. So are you comfortable with the formula of nth term? Yeah. Now, in the next lecture, we are going to discuss the sum of term formula and some questions based on that. All right. So this is it in today's lecture. This lecture, lecture number one of progression. My name is Shaman Avad signing off. I will see you in the next lecture. Till then, stay happy, stay healthy. Bye-bye.